Hey y'all, um, it's been a minute, right? Like, a year-ish? Almost two? I don't know, it... Turns out school is hard. <laughs> um, it was really hard for me to keep any sort of consistent upload schedule, and I don't really know why I'm trying again, I'm just, you know, I have my mic, I have my camera, might as well, right? So, um... Anyway, yeah, I'm still doing the whole, uh, physics undergrad thing, um, it's pretty cool, um, I don't know, material's fun, I, I, the workload is kind of killing me, though, like, honestly, um, when the whole COVID thing hit, I sort of replaced everything that I normally do for fun with just, like, more work, so I've been pulling, like, I don't know, 70, 80 hour work weeks, and that's been awful like actually legitimately the worst thing ever but you know got a lot of things done i've done some research i can talk about that at some point if and when it gets published um i don't know it's just a weird weird whole circumstance and again i'm not really sure why i'm back on here again because i've you know it's been so long I've probably lost all the little tiny little audience that I've ever that I ever had, but I don't know. Might as well try. I don't actually have any free time. This is I'm actually recording this the week before I have my first final, which is great. It's terrifying. Actually, it's for my atomic physics course, which has really kind of been kicking my ass this whole semester, but who knows? May all turn out, and yeah. But anyway, I don't know if anyone will actually watch this because my channel, you know, it, it started out with gaming. I think I have like 200 videos of gaming, and then suddenly I switched over to tutorials that, um, I don't know, got mixed reviews. My most viewed video is like it's um two minute clip of me showing people how to install plugins on a um music recording, not recording, but electronic music maker, um, program that, um, I, I personally found the method I used to work, but I guess my explanation left some to be desired because I got completely panned by the comments and <laughs> uh, I think it has like a 50, 50, like to dis dislike ratio. And there's, I think there's one comment on there that's like, I'm glad you disappeared because the world's a better place without you. I'm like, yep, yep, yep that you're right. Good, good on you, sir, or madame, or uh, amorphous blob, or whatever you want to identify as. Um, you're right there. I... <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, so this is just a video of me saying that I'm gonna try to come back. I don't know. Um, maybe once a week on Sunday or Friday or. Whatever, um, whenever I really have time is the real kicker. Um, but I'll try to do something like once a week, I can't promise anything, you know, I saw how well that turned out last time, but, you know, I thought it'd be kind of fun to try, to try again to do the whole physics vlog, whatever, because, you know, it's a subject I'm passionate about, and it helped me a lot, like, getting through this <laughs> whole shit show of life, but, um... Yeah, it, it would really, I don't know, it really helped me, so maybe it'll help other people if anyone ever discovers this, but, yeah, um, I don't know, I guess I'll just tell you what's been up lately, so, um, I am currently a uh, sophomore at uh, the Georgia Institute of Technology, I'm studying physics with a math minor, um, well, I'm sort of a sophomore. I have enough credits from doing classes in high school to graduate a year early, so I'm actually graduating next spring if, you know, if everything works out and I don't crash, burn, and fail a class, but I don't think that'll happen. But, um, yeah, so this is my second semester of my sophomore slash junior year, depending on how you want to define it, and, um, I don't know. I've done a lot of interesting classes. Um, I did some... Actually, I can show y'all some textbooks. Uh, 
Because personally, I like looking at textbooks. They're pretty. So, um, let's see. The class at my first final this coming Friday, like a week from when this video comes out, uh, is for atomic physics. Uh, this is the textbook I use. It is ridiculously hard for me. I don't know if it's like actually a really difficult class. The other people in it seem to think so, but um, they, I uh, took it without taking the second course in quantum mechanics and the first, actually this entire course has um, just relied on everything taught in the second course of quantum mechanics, it seems like. So just being uh, drowning a little bit there and um, I had to teach myself some like extra, you know, like perturbation theory and stuff like that, and um, some spherical harmonic stuff from my old quantum text. This uh, quantum mechanics by Townsend, um, actually a fantastic book. Um, I know that some people have like really mixed feelings about the uh, industry standard. That's the Griffiths quantum mechanics. Um, Personally, from what I've heard, the Townsend version, aside from like some weird units that it uses, um, actually uh, fixes most of the problems that the Griffiths text relies on, introduces, whatever you want to say about it. Um, so I really like that, and it has a really extensive, it covers a really extensive set of topics, like it actually covers uh, spherical vessel functions, which um, I've been using in my research a lot. And uh, it was really nice to see it represented in uh, something I'm actually graded for. Um, let's see. So that's the class that I have for next Friday. Um, then in a May the 5th, actually, I have a, a test in my final for um, electrodynamics. So in like two weeks time, uh, you know, classic, the DJ Griffiths. Um, laying down the beat of introductory electro um it is a fantastic textbook i have no time to actually study it though but when i do i understand which is you know important so i don't know it's been a really really nice class i've always really liked um electrodynamics um now a couple days ago well, actually uh no it was a couple days ago now I did for a homework problem uh, calculating the amount of time um, the uh, Bohr atom would take to decay down to the nucleus if we actually took into account power radiation instead of just saying orbitals exist and they're stuck in orbitals. And um, came down to something like 3 times 10 to the negative 11 seconds, which is really small. Like, that's a l not very much time. And oh, I thought it was neat. I could apply it to other things and you know the Bohr atom is kind of where atomic physics started and electro like classical electro kind of ends there and oh, I thought it was really cool that we could connect it like that um so I don't know I I have not put enough effort into that class as I really should have um but I don't know maybe I can do some worked problems if I ever get around to it I, I don't know um Let's see, then uh, another class that I'm taking is uh, Statistical Mechanics that uses um, this book. It's like from the 80s, I think. It's a good book. Like, it's an absolute classic. Yeah, 1980s, the copyright. Um, it's an absolute classic, but uh, I think the teacher, I think the professor's having some trouble converting things to um, online learning or just teaching in general and um, it, it's been like a lot of it's been really difficult he sort of stopped the class halfway through and then entirely changed when we met changed what the quizzes would be like changed everything changed how homeworks were being assigned because up till that point we'd had like one homework assignment a month and I don't I really didn't learn anything in that class, so one of my plans, and really one of the reasons I'm restarting this, is to motiva motivate myself to do more things on my own. Um, I'm going to try to go through like the first seven chapters that were supposedly covered in this class so I can actually learn statistical mechanics, which is 
apparently a really important subject. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, it, it's a good book when I've actually, it has a fantastic introduction to like the statistical parts of statistical mechanics like the first chapter is just a math review and it's it's pretty great um yeah i i really didn't get a lot out of stat mac it was a disappointment um yeah it let's see i'm also taking a seminar course that doesn't really have a uh, textbook it's just sort of telling you how to exist as a physics person like you know going to grad school and not going to grad school if that's the way to go um, my current plan is going to grad school unless everyone rejects me which is quite possible honestly but you know, I hope my list isn't too high reaching for that to happen but uh, um, I don't know and then uh, my last class that I'm actually taking is um, a uh, continuum mechanics course so we're using this absolute unit of a textbook, you know, it's what, almost 700 pages. Um, man, this course, like my two favorite courses that I've taken at this school so far have been this semester with atomic physics and continuum mechanics, and it's just really cool. I, I love the physics of water. Like... <laughs> And I think that's how you can tell that I'm not an engineer is because I actually don't hate fluid mechanics, but, um, I don't know. It was a lot of fun. Like we talked about basic elasticity, th like we covered, um, sort of the physics behind an entire mechanical engineering degree, which was what I wanted. And it was fantastic. Um, it's a really great textbook. I am actually planning on going more in depth on it at some point because there's a lot of neat stuff there's like a there's a chapter on uh, computational elastos elastodynamics which just goes through the basic theory of numerical methods and lots of lots of cool stuff and then there's computational fluids and really neat stuff um yeah and then i also uh, ta'd for a course on classical mechanics too uh which was like hamiltonian mechanics lagrangians Lots of fun stuff. Euler's equations, like uh, for s uh, spinning systems in the um, moment of inertia tensor, which is all cool. Um, I really liked interacting with the students for that course. It was really rewarding, like actually helping people understand things. Like, I really enjoyed it, and it didn't hurt that it was good money. Um, but, yeah. Um, I. I the textbook for that is in the other room, so I'm not going to go grab it. That would be, you know, bad form. But, um, I don't know, let's see. I've also been doing a lot of research, like um, looking at spherical systems and melting and solidification. I was doing research in a, an engineering department um, in Idaho, and uh, that was pretty neat. I did a lot of computation for that. I actually wrote a code in Fortran to actually do some computational fluids with that and that was fun i always like learning new numerical methods and doing computational physics but yeah um hopefully that'll be published and when that is published i can go through it and talk about some of the things that we did and whatever if anyone watches this video and if anyone's interested i th i think it's cool um yeah and i've also been doing some work um with uh predreg at uh the at georgia tech and um we're going over stuff. We're, we're actually looking at the Henon map, which is a nonlinear iterative mapping function that turns into like this really weird chaotic dynamics. And we're trying to find like the periodic orbits, like the periodic solutions. Um, and uh, looking at time reversibility of the Hamiltonian version, which is just, I can talk more about this later if again, anyone is interested, but it's, it's a lot of math and a little bit of computation and I'm, because of all the other things I have on my plate, I've I've not given it the time it really deserves. But that's actually what I'm going to try to do later today, along with studying for atomic physics and other stuff. But yeah, it, it's been a really rough semester, though. Like a lot of work and really stressful, honestly. And um, yeah, like I don't know. Um, 
when COVID hit, I moved back in with my parents, and then at the end of uh, the fall semester, like fall 2020, um, I moved out to live with my girlfriend, and I'm currently living in the apartment we share, and that's been nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I like the setup. It's a little tiny, like, loft apartment type thing, um, so it's technically a studio, but you know, it's a big, long studio, so it feels like a one-bedroom, so no, well, it's pretty nice. It's right on the outskirts of town, and really pretty around here, so, yeah, I, I appreciate it, so, yeah, um, this video is not gonna really have any, like, editing or anything, because I don't actually have, uh, <laughs> editing software on my laptop yet, but, I don't know, I might try to do some, like, uh, Simon Clark-style weekly vlogs or something, but, we'll see how that goes. Um, if anyone watches this, Hit me up with a comment. Uh, tell me I deserve to die like all of the other ones. Um, nah, nah, I, I really have no hard feelings towards them. It like, gives me a good chuckle whenever I whenever I check. Um, but yeah. Uh, hope you have a good day. I hope you enjoyed this video if anyone's watching. Um, see you later. Goodbye.